So I've been seeing a lot of YouTube pilots flying around with these Flying Eyes Optic sunglasses and I am not sponsored. So I wanted to take an objective, unsponsored look and give a full review of these Kingfisher Flying Eyes Optic sunglasses. Let's go. Clear. Bend traffic, command the 4 golf mic, taking runway 3-4 for a right crosswind departure bend. model is the Kingfisher. It's got matte black frames, the gradient lenses with 1.5x reader bifocals. You can add reader bifocals at 1.5x, 2.0x, or 2.5x, but that limits your lens tint to gradient gray, gradient copper, or clear. Now, as tested, these glasses cost me $219 plus $12 shipping, and I opted for the $30 loss protection, so you can get them quite a bit cheaper than that. So the total cost to me was $261 shipped, which is way more than I've ever spent on a pair of sunglasses. So let's see if these glasses can replace these as my daily flyers. So as you might have seen from other YouTubers, the main selling point are these arms right here. They're super thin, they're light. Are they chintzy? They don't feel chintzy at all. I'm not gonna bend them more than about like that. I've seen people go crazy with them. I don't know if it's just a reinforced plastic or what, but it feels pretty robust. You know, I love companies that find creative ways to use new materials, new production techniques to make my life easier. But the reason why they're like that is so primarily to save weight and to fit inside of your noise protecting or ANR ear cups. There's a noticeable difference between these breaking the seal, okay? The ambient noise does not go up at all when these slide in my ear. All right, the other main selling point is the weight of these glasses. They're pretty light. Now, let's quantify it. These are 23 grams versus my daily drivers, Smiths, which are 32 grams. Okay, so that's quite a bit lighter. All right, let's put them on. So when I ordered the, uh, oh my gosh, <laughs> my vocals are so much, so nice to be able to just see everything rather than readers over the nose with your sunglasses on. That's always a good look. These bifocals are a game changer. I can see out because my distance vision is good. I can see in the cockpit. I don't have to put on a different pair of glasses. So this is an ideal situation. One more note on the bifocals. I ordered the bifocals to, to raise up a little bit more than normal. I think normal was like 18 millimeters. I actually increased it to 19 millimeters. Because of the aircraft that I fly, have pretty high instrument panels, the Bonanza and the 737, and my RANs won't be quite as high, but I wanted my you know pupillar distance or whatever they call it from the bottom of the lens up I wanted 19 millimeters and they not only got it right once but twice see I first ordered Ospreys because I like the look of the Ospreys first but I didn't realize that they're quite a bit smaller than these and they did not fit my head whatsoever I'm six foot four I got larger features got it I do think that the trend of you know large surfer style sunglasses has been around for a while that I wish that they would offer you know the say the Osprey in, a, in an oversized uh, version. So I was hesitant to return them because I ordered them with kind of custom bifocals in there, right? Well, customer service was eager to make me happy and I was eager to take them up on that and they took a return and recommended the Kingfisher because they're similar in style and they're a lot wider. However, they are a little bit thinner. So regardless, they got the bifocals right both times, which was awesome. There's only one larger size than this in their lineup, and that's the Cooper Aviator. I just don't like the way I look in aviators. So those are a no-go for me. These, I just, I don't love the way they look on my face, and they let in a lot of light down here. The bridge of the nose is a little bit tight. You can adjust that. I haven't adjusted it yet, but there is a little screw in there. The lens quality seems excellent. I didn't think I'd like the gradient tinting, but I actually do. It just kind of makes sense with obviously everything super bright up here and wanting to be able to see inside the, the cockpit. So I actually like them. They're noticeably lighter. I could wear these for hours and hours. So I give it four out of five bush planes. I would give it five bush planes if they made an oversized version. That's really the only downfall of it. Yeah, the price, I think the price, you're paying for what you get. You're paying for the good quality, good quality lenses, the light. You know, they're made for aviators like this, the great customer support. The way to get that fifth bush plane flying eyes optics is to uh, make that oversized pair. Will they become my daily drivers? Not yeah, my daily drivers, but I'll tell you what, they will become my daily flyers. Thanks for watching, my name's Steve. I hope you consider subscribing for lots more aviation content, especially bush plane building. Till next time, you're clear to wreck. Never here go, flying contact, all the way center, 28.05. 28.05, 28.05.